So you'll have 10 minutes to present and 10 minutes for Q&A. Sounds good. You can start whenever you want. Perfect. Okay, good afternoon everyone. So our team poker face, we're gonna, we have Emma Ho, Tim and her, her Nairbet, Shao, and I Chi Dong, so <laughs> Tim okay. uh, Hortons case. So first of all, the introduction, Tim Hortons was founded in 1964 as a coffee and donuts job. And it was the Canadian, has been recognized as the number one Canadian coffee. It was acquired by the uh, holding company of Burger King in 2014 and became the third largest fast food restaurant chain in the world. And now it's facing the new challenges. So uh, the problem we, uh, Tim Hortons is facing involves the menu innovation, geographic expansion, limit, limitless and the brand equity and also the catch the food trend of, <laughs> of, of the, 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 the fast food trend. <laughs> so basically from those pictures you can see how popular Tim Hortons is. <laughs> so, in the, so from the picture on the top left you can see uh, that's a good gift for Christmas. <laughs> and basically you really want to stay with your families and drink here Tim Hortons coffee. And the way, even when you are biking, you want to have Tim Hortons coffee with you to test your skills if you can do the balance. <laughs> so when we are discussing in the study room, you, you have to have a cup of Tim Hortons, otherwise uh, you are not allowed into the, the lounge. <laughs> For the last one, uh, it's really popular, although it's only popular in the uh, North American, but we think it's going to be a, a huge potential to expanding globally for this brand. Okay, I'm going to pass to... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, you would... Go ahead. All right. <laughs> 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 what what is, like, for, like confidences or benefits, basically they have a very good coffee, a premium coffee, organic material, organic food, and you get the biggest bang for your buck. The environment, they really care about the environment. They have several like uh, initiatives that they go with. And the service is really pleasant. When you go to Tim Hortons, you know that you're going to be pleased with all the service that you're getting. Uh, Tim Hortons Express, uh, basically, that's one of the projects that they're going with, which is basically a van with solar power and wireless charging uh, van. So basically, you get Wi-Fi, which you can't get from everywhere else. And the location, they go to uh, like bars, to festivals, to like cycling, uh, uh, like. Uh, events and they present all this uh, Tim Hortons Express. So wherever you go, even if you don't have like a brick and mortar like Tim Hortons, you can have the van. The penetration in the Canadian market, we're basically offering a local taste of Canada. So uh, <laughs> basically, uh, how, how we know that poutine is uh, very famous uh, in Quebec, where Tim Hortons is also very famous and it's Canada's image. So we want to have, we want to partnership, to partner with Burger King, which is something that we're doing in the, uh, in the meantime, we're working on it, to increase brand awareness and get more uh, potential customers in Europe and Asia. The digital marketing, marketing plan right now, what we have is 303 followers on Twitter, 2.4 million on Facebook, etc. And the practices, we're going with the contest-based campaigns. So we show like, uh, this is the campaign that we're going with, and this is the prize that you would get if you actually win in the campaign. Uh, again, we work with the Lloyd program, you have our cards, uh, we send uh, notifications on your phone. If you're passing by Tim Hortons, you get this information, like, hey, you want to pass by and get some coffee? And you suggest, like, what are, you, uh, what are your friends up to on Facebook? Also, we have a YouTube contest where you, we have a lot of contests where people are <laughs> <laughs> on, on YouTube and uh, they get the community. So you're driving for a community-based uh, uh, social media strategy building a community and getting people involved around this. So I'm going to pass it now to Tim to speak more about questions. Tim. I I think, I guess. No, no, no. no, no, no. Nothing. 88,000 bucks. It's, it's a no-brainer. I mean, it's 8,000 bucks to do promotion. It's a steal at that price. Good news, 3,000 bucks. Say, okay. hundred trucks. Basically, food trucks are going to cost us ten thousand. <laughs> One time, there are forty stores in Canada, sixty thousand. I think what you see here is a plan of rolling out a few trucks across Canada, getting some, some money spent, I guess, and a sales target. I'm only, I'm only, I'm trying to help. Sales target, price for sale growth. 
But that right now the market is going at 1%. The marketplace is saturated with, with uh, copycat competitors. Everyone's fighting for the same market space. What the strategy really is about is for a small market spend, particularly in digital marketing, which doesn't cost you a lot, as you know, I'm making light of it. But ultimately the idea is to create awareness, to do branding, to stand out beyond what the others are doing. That will make a significant difference going forward uh, in your strategy. Thank you. <laughs> 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 Alina, can you first? Yeah, I don't feel like the owner. Oh,